All right, we're going to really quickly show you percentiles and quartiles and then show you a little bit about pivot tables, which I think uh, you'll enjoy. So percentile is like percentile rank if I'm in the 10th percentile versus the 90th percentile. And quartiles are just quarters. First 25%, second quarter is 25 to 50%, etc. So I took the data here. And this really is quite simple. If I want the percentile, I just say, what's my data range? Here, I'll do one for you. Just do function percentile. And it asks me, what's my array? So I want to do, let's do it on cost per order. And then the K is what percentile do I want? Between 0 and 1, it tells you. So if I want the 20th percentile, I just put in 0.2. 42,000 is the 20th percentile. Here I did the 80th percentile, as you can see up here. I froze these or made them absolute so I could copy it over here and just do the 10th percentile. Uh, if you're really setting this up, what you might want to do is have this built on what is what you assumed. So notice this is whatever I put in here. So now I can just, if I want to know the 50th percentile, it automatically tells me down there. The 40th percentile, it tells me down there, etc. cetera. Uh, quartiles work much the same way, only you're inputting a quartile with your data range. And there's only, your K is one of four. Uh, it's either... Uh, the first, second, third, or fourth quartile, because there's only four quartiles. So, show you this one. You just hit this. You say quartile. Again, it asks you your array. My array is these cost figures here. My K, notice first quartile is one, two, three, and four. Let's do two. There you go. All it is to it, so you can do very easily percentile ranks or quartile ranks. Just another way of sorting your data. Now, let's talk about a pivot table. So what I've done here is I've put in all of the data. All right? Now, create a pivot table is really easy. I just highlight my area. I say insert a pivot table. Notice it automatically does it. It's usually best to throw it to a new worksheet. Now this screen comes up as a new worksheet. Um, now I can do report filters. I can do my rows. I can do my sum. Let's say we want to know the item descriptions, the rows of the item descriptions, and sum up the cost per order. So I'll know how much I sold, notice it automatically pops up, how much I sold for each item. So there's, the total is 2.4. Let's say I'd like to be able to filter this though by supplier and filter it by order date. Okay, what's this gonna, notice these two keys. What's this gonna allow me to do is, all right, let's say I just wanna know how much I get did from aluminum sheeting automatically updates how much business I did with aluminum sheeting. Let's say I want to know how much business I did from aluminum sheeting in the month of September. So I'll go down here and just pick the order dates for September. Sorry, I didn't know there were going to be so many. Okay, now I've done a sort bought for aluminum sheeting just for the month of September for those items. I can click all this back to all. Click this back to all. Now I've got all suppliers, all products. If I'd like a chart, just add a chart. There you go. These are extremely powerful because you get to change all you can add in. Any description you want, 
and it's very flexible. It's a great tool. Uh, this you want to get really good at. I think these pivot tables, they're very uh, powerful. Hope that helps.